In order to create bridge in 3ds Max, it's better to have the same number of vertices. And here I got 8 vertices and not the same right here. So I will pause this video and I will clean up. I will get rid of this row actually, I don't need it. Same for here on the, on the top and these on the left. I will get rid of these and I will clean everything until I get 8 even vertices right here. And I will come back to you. So now it's ready to be connected. But first, let me do like I did with this row of vertices. I will select this row, this right row of vertices, and I will scale it so it's even. And right here, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maybe I can shift the position of this one, one, two, three, uh, actually this one needs to be here, and this one needs to be here, this one is here, and finally this one will be here. So now we can either weld them or bridge them, same thing will work. So I prefer to weld them, so let me get these closer. Oops. And I will do the welding. One by one, maybe target weld will work better. So we target from one direction to the other, we won't change it. It's from down to up. And finally, this one. So now, we got both objects connected and still this piece in the middle here. We, of course, you make sure to align it or make it in the middle. So let me press L to check this on the left side and of course we need to adjust some things here let me select this row of vertices and push it forward like this same for this so everything will look even And here, maybe we need to push this. On this group, slightly not much like this. Uh, this goes forward too much, maybe like this. If we press P for perspective, that's what we got. We got this first part, but here I think we lost this part needs to be weld. Okay, we can fix it. We can create a bridge from here to here. Maybe you can take these two. This one, this one, and these two. And we can use the bridge. I can make it one step. So press OK. And it's closed, but still 
uh, I have a problem here. I need to target weld this to this. Let me go to vertex mode and I need to change the position of these so I can see exactly what is going on yeah we should do two steps for bridging so we can fix this by creating cut but first we need to ignore backspace back facing so I cut from here oops that's back facing <laughs> we were working at so I press the cut from here to here and I need to make this cut right here and right here now let me weld this to this and that's it we need just to do adjustment for position or this one needs to go up and here we got this edge we don't need these two edges and that too okay let me select these polygons flip the normals so we can work with them I think the problem lies here okay so I select this vertex target weld I can see it. I maybe I press F3. I need to weld this to this. Press F4, and that's it. So now let me flip the normals again of these four polygons or oh, not this one because we we'll, won't see this later fine so now we got this first piece we will connect to the other pieces let's check the photo now we created this part right here maybe we need to extend this edge press F to go to front view I need to extend this edge only this edge and the lower part I need to shift drag it and shift drag it again until I get this lens then I need to create another piece from here and another piece from here to start connecting them maybe I need to go to left view and uh, we need to select
these and drag them out oh, but that was too much fine now I get back to edge mode and still the same selected I press shift drag and this time this go to this direction oh, that's too much okay I will do the same here for the upper edge I press F for front view I double click this edge and I will alt everything I only need the upper edge I will go to left view shift drag and that goes to this direction where the next piece will be connected let's press P to go to perspective view to see what we got and that's what we got this is the first facade of this piece now we already modeled this piece we need now to model this piece connected with this one and then connect all of this to this and start modeling the other part so keep up with us